Happening now, NASA making their final preparations for an historic launch in the coming days. Space Agency getting ready for its first trip to the moon in 50 years. It's an unp unpiloted mission called Artemis 1, and the countdown begins tomorrow for the Monday morning launch. Skylar Henry explains the Artemis 1 mission and what's at stake. This is where the countdown begins for America's return to the moon. NASA's most powerful rocket ever is on the launch pad, ready for Monday's liftoff, an unpiloted mission called Artemis 1. It is absolutely breathtaking. Charlie Blackwell Thompson is the space agency's first female launch director. It's going to return our nation to the moon, and it is going to pave the way for our next steps in exploration. The flight is a $4 billion test run for the 322-foot rocket carrying the Orion crew capsule. With only mannequins on board, its 42-day mission will venture into distant orbit, then splash down in the Pacific. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says the idea is to push the rocket to its limits. The test pilots call it pressing the edge of the envelope, and that means it's risky business. If all goes well, a future mission will bring astronauts to the moon's South Pole for the longest lunar visit ever. The first landing to 2025 is going to be six and a half days. Eventually, we're going to have a habitable rover. They're going to get in without their spacesuits and roam around the surface. And in case you thought NASA didn't have a sense of humor. You know the last thing that they put into the spacecraft? What's that? Snoopy in his astronaut spacesuit. And when we are in zero G going to the moon, you will see Snoopy right there in the camera. Back on Earth, more than 100,000 people are expected to pack roads and beaches near the Kennedy Space Center to watch the historic liftoff. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. All right, here's a live look at the Kennedy Space Center where NASA plans to launch its first trip to the moon in five decades. Right now, the launch set for Monday morning, 8 or 7.33 our time. CBS Mornings will have live coverage Monday right here on Channel 5. And the